Mad Magazine is magazines that parody pop culture, basically. It was really big back in the day, but they're actually still making them. Now, I actually have a bunch of these of my own. They're just hanging on the walls or they're in a box. I made a whole video on my collection, but that was like four years ago. I've gotten a couple since then, but I bought two recently that I've been wanting for a while. Here they are right here. I'm going to be opening them up and showing you what they are. Hopefully, they're in good condition. That's obviously the hardest thing. Some of these are literally from the 60s and who knows what people have been doing with them for that long they could get bent or beat up or anything and you want to try to find one that's in good condition but that could also be a lot of money well i'm hoping these two are in good shape because it's not like they're anything special they're just paper it's a regular magazine but they have cool covers and stuff like that and personally my favorite ones are like the movie ones jaws or rocky and stuff like that but this other one is something that i've wanted for a while let's open these up and i'll show you what they are now maybe I'll do an updated collection video. I always like just doing the most random videos. Like I did an Angry Birds plush collection recently. So maybe I'll do this. My dad was actually the one who collected these for a while. So that's where I got the majority of my collection. But I bought a bunch on my own as well. All right, this is the one that I've been wanting for a while. Wow, that actually looks like it's in really good condition. It's hard to tell online, but this is great. I'm gonna get it in like a plastic thing, but this is it right here. So this was the 105th issue and it came out September. 1996 for how old this is it is in really good shape it's based off the 60s batman show which i'm a big fan of and i just like the cover of this one it's all in black and white but it just parodies random stuff and the big one obviously was the 60s batman show at the time so that's what they put on the cover i'll give you a more closer look so this is the batman 66 one you can see it's hand drawn and it just looks really good they have alfred e newman's face if you don't know he's like the mascot of the mad magazine He's on every cover and then you flip it to the back and it's just a random drawing nothing crazy But obviously if you're getting these you're really getting them for the cover Yeah, it's cool It's on the inside and we'll take a look real quick But at least for me when I get them i'm getting them for what's on the outside Maybe one day i'll go through and read some of these but the cover is the best part But this is also just as great. Obviously, I don't want any like pages missing. So there it is I'm really happy to have that I got the plastic things right here If I get a magazine or something and it doesn't come in one of these I put them in there because it just keeps it in better shape and then i'll just put it in this thing either i'll hang it up or put it somewhere to keep it safe i didn't even know it was in this good of shape when i was buying it but i'm really happy it is good so and back then it was 30 cents and now they're like five dollars a magazine so that was the one that i wanted for a while but this one is just as cool and some of you might find even cooler on there it says please handle with care fragile thank you because you don't want the person bending it obviously because it's a magazine i like how the other person did it they had it in cardboard but this is good enough. I wasn't even planning on buying this. I just saw it. I was just like, you know what? I might as well get it. Got to be careful while opening it. Slide it on out. So this one already came in a plastic protector. And this is actually, if you can't read, Mads proudly presents its 100th issue. So this is the 100th issue ever released of Mad. And surprisingly, it wasn't that much money. What is a lot of money is the first ever issue of Mad. So you can't get that. But the 100th issue wasn't that much at all. Pretty much as plain as you get. It just says right there in a the speech bubble, big deal with Alfred E. Newman's face. And right there at the top, number 100, January 1960. 66. And yet again, this is in really good shape. The back of them, they'll always have just like a random art, just something that's completely random. I gotta be careful, but I'll slide it out real quick. It's all black and white, like usual. They got Spy versus Spy. That's like their famous comic. And then you can get like their merchandise and stuff. Let's take a closer look at it. So this is the 100th issue up close. I'm not really picky when it comes to condition. As long as it looks pretty good, that's fine by me. Like this has some like creasings here and stuff. I don't care at all. But if it was like flipped around inside out and like coffee stains all over, then okay, I'm not buying that. It has to be somewhat good. And this is fine by me. There's his face up close. Looks kind of creepy, but it's it's just cool that this is the 100th one and for the longest time they kept going with the same numbers all the way up to like 500 something and then they restart it which i don't like at all but they did it what are you gonna do so there's the two of them and i think my favorite part is these older covers were actually hand drawn nowadays they use a computer and it doesn't look as good which is fine i understand but the older ones just have that old feel to it i don't know what it is just them actually drawing it makes it so much cooler looking and that's why i always try to get the older covers and not the newer ones there you go i'm not sure how many of you are interested in this that's mad magazine i'm a big fan of it i try to collect a bunch of them and if you enjoyed this video leave a like i don't know i'm out